Hi, Ruronis! This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu ray collection library video series. So, today we're going to be taking a look at the categories in the, under movie, TV shows, movies, and anime that were released in 2001, which we haven't done before until now. So, let's dive right into this today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. Okay, so technically, basically, I have like these categories under the TV shows, movies, and anime that were released in 2001. Because last time we already took a look back in the movies and anime category that were released in 2000 category in the previous video in the past as well. Even though I have done my anime and manga haul video yesterday, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So we're going to be doing the categories. Because I have a little bit of TV shows left over from last time. But I have mostly of some movies that were released in 2001. But there's a lot of anime that were released in 2001 also. That'll definitely take the cake though. Yeah. <clears throat> so, without any further ado, which is right here right now. Let's dive into what we got here. The first one I have is Samurai Jack. This is the premiere movie. This is basically like the pilot episode one. Yeah, this also has a 22-minute bonus episode on this DVD. Apparently, this this did got a Blu-ray release as the complete series set on Blu-ray as well. I, I don't have the complete series set of Samurai Jack on Blu-ray, but I will probably get it on Blu-ray in the nearest future, for the most part, I believe, as well. Yeah. Created by Gendy Tartakovsky as well. Yep. Because I had to get this, because this was only like a dollar when I got this set a library book sale come to think of it if you want if you want to pause feel free to read on the back if you like as well it's basically like a 70 minute pilot movie it was like a the tv movie especially and yes there's only six chapters on here and this is basically presented in its snapper case on dvd i have here because i i suppose pretty soon i might get the complete series of samurai jack on blu-ray one of these days at one point as we speak. So that's for the TV shows. Let's dive into the movies, what we have. I have The Others with Nicole Kidman. I think I found this VHS in one of the storage bins as well when I was going through there to pick for the physical media video library series videos as well. Yeah, this apparently it's also available on DVD, which I forgot to tell you as well. This is the one that I've shown you before in the previous videos as well. The next one I have is the full screen DVD edition of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. This is a two disc set on DVD here. There's a lot of features on here, which I can tell here. Yeah, this includes like those featurettes on here. And this has the, the May It Be music video. And this has the exclusive 10 minute behind the scenes preview of Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers on here. Yeah. This is the full screen edition on there. There's also the box set editions of the all three of these Lord of the Rings movies on here. Yeah. But it's just how it is as well. Like, here's what the disc... I mean, I used to have the full screen, the widescreen version, but... But I got the full screen version. Here's... This is a two disc set edition of Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring on here. I mean, I used to have this on VHS, but I got the DVD as well. Yeah, because this is actually the first Lord of the Rings movie I have here. The next one I got is The Fast and the Furious from the director Rob Cohen. Yeah, this is the one that features Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. This is actually the first Fast and the Furious movie that I had to get as well. I think I got this at a thrift store. Well, why not? I had to get this because you can't go wrong with that. <coughs> And yes, this is the all-new Tricked Out Edition DVD that I have here. Yeah. This has the all-new movie experience. And this has the turbo chart. This basically has a prelude shot where the behind the scenes for Too Fast, Too Furious on this DVD. 
And this has an exclusive behind the scenes on here. And this has a sneak preview for Too Fast, Too Furious on here. I got this at a thrift store as well. The next one I got is Rush Hour 2. I had to get this for like a dollar at a yard sale. I have here. Because I, I don't have the first Rush Hour movie, but I do got this. But pretty soon I will get the first Rush Hour movie. Which is all going to be, in the, for the most part, this has the kung fu choreography and this has deleted scenes and this has with optional director and commentary outtakes and this has the director the commentary on the director's commentary on that one and this has the select analysis of their of these selected scenes what you have here yeah because i got this at a yard sale for like a dollar as well because you can't go wrong with rush hour i'm i probably might give this movie a watch as well the next one I have is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This has a lot of extras on this DVD here. This has the behind the scenes featurette, and this has the music videos like Stroke Nine's Kick Some Ass music video, and this has Afro Man's I Got High video. And this has Still Gallery Storyboard, and this has behind the scenes featurette on here. Yeah. And this has the Comedy Central's Real Comedy on about Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back on here. Yeah, this is probably released by. Dimension, this part of the Dimension Collector series on here. Yeah, this is a two-disc set on here, because this is actually my first Kevin Smith movie that I got at a at a library book sale for only like a dollar, I believe. And the next one that I have is Recess Schools Out. This is the first time I get to own this on VHS. I think I remember seeing this on on the Disney Channel when or Toon Disney. I, I think I remembered when I was a kid. I back in the, my childhood day as here. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back if you like as well. This has two music videos on here. Yeah, I think I got this at a thrift, at a Goodwill store for like $2, which is $1.99. It's not bad. And of course, I have Monsters, Inc., which I've already shown you before. This has a lot of extras on here, which I've shown you before in the as well. And finally, to the anime, we have our... Arjuna Complete Collection. I had to get this as well at Half Price Books because there's only four volumes on here. This has all 13 episodes in a DVD thick case as well. Whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, because I have I had to get Arjuna Complete Collection DVD here, which I was going to show you. It's in a thick DVD case, basically just like those season sets of Ruroni Kenshin, uh, just like these Ruroni Kenshin season sets and Devilman Complete TV Series Collection DVD set from Discotheque Media as well. Yeah, same with my Anime Legends DVD volume of Wolf's Reign also. I think it's been a while since I did my anime review on Earth Girl or Earth Maiden Arjuna on the on one of my anime reviews on here. The next one I have is Cowboy Bebop the Movie. I had to get this on DVD for like a dollar at, particularly at a library book sale, because you can't go wrong with it. This has the making of Cowboy Bebop the Movie on here. This has six behind-the-scenes featurettes on there, and this has some music videos on there. This has conceptual art gallery, storyboard comparisons, and this has the in-depth character profiles also on this DVD. And yeah, this includes the original Japanese language track on here, come to think of it. Because you can't go wrong with Cowboy Bebop. And I also have a couple volumes of Final Fantasy Unlimited. Because I have volumes 4 and 7 of those two I have on DVD, which I have here. Because I had to get these at Resputed Music as well. And of course I have Final Fantasy Spirits Within on DVD. I mean... This has the two feature-length audio commentaries on this DVD, because this DVD is particularly good for the commentary on here. And I also have three volumes of Fruits Basket. I'm, I need to get one more volume, so it's going to basically complete it as all as a complete series set. This is the 2001 series of Fruits Basket. Pretty soon I might get the, 20, the, the newer Fruits Basket anime series on DVD or Blu-ray that Funimation has put out. Yeah, because I think I did an anime review on Fruits Basket, the 2001 anime series, but there is the new Fruits Basket anime series that I want to check out at some point, in case you're wondering as well. Because I think I got, these two I got at a library book sale, but the third volume like this I got, 
I think I got it at particularly at Respeated Music, I believe. Pretty soon I might get one more volume, so after that you got a complete series as you can rewatch it. The next one I have is Fushigi Yugi, the Mysterious Play Ikoden. I got this at a for like twenty five bucks at Fanime at Nakaku at which is probably in San Jose, California. This comes in a slip cover, like see through case right there. Because it says Fushigi Yugi, the mysterious play on here. And on the side right here. Because you can't go wrong with this and this basically uh, and the only Fushigi Yugi series that OVA series that came out in 2001, which is probably around the same time as Samurai X Reflection, I believe, as well. And move on to the assorted anime ones I have, which I was going to spread them out to you in case you're wondering. I have Volume 3 of Galaxy Angel. I had to get the sad Rasputin music as well, as well as the third volume of Geisters, the first volume of Helsing, because I got that at Half Price Books, which is this one. But these two right here are which are Galaxy Angel and Geisters. I got these two at Resputed Music as well. And the first Inuyasha movie, Inuyasha, the movie Affections Touching Across Time, which I got it on Amazon, I believe, here, because you can't go wrong with... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, it premiered in 2001, probably around the same time as the Inuyasha anime series. And I have some more volumes of anime, which I have Volumes 3 and Volume 5 of Noir, I got these at a thrift store a while back as well, back in 2017 as well, which I remembered as well, because there's more volumes of Noir. Pretty soon I will get more volumes of them at one point, and I have R.O.D. Read or Die OVA series I have here. I think I got this at Recycle Bookstore a while, which is probably before the COVID-19 pandemic happens. And I have Samurai X Reflection. I got this at Half Price Books as well, in case you're wondering as well. And yeah, this... Yeah, Samurai X Reflection came out as an OVA series in 2001, around the same time as Inuyasha and Fushigi Yugi Aikoden OVA as well. And I have Volume 1 of Zion, I Wish You Were Here, anime OVA. Because I got... I think I got this uh, for like... Ten bucks, I believe, at Nakaku, because it's used uh, as well, in case you're wondering as well. I think just probably during the pandemic, I believe. And that's all I have, what I got for today. So that's going to be it for my video that is made possibly with the physical media video library series for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts for this one. Because, you know, April is coming to a close, be or to tomorrow, I guess. Because March has finally almost over, because because tomorrow we're going to be doing part one of my anime collection, which is probably part of the April 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. But I all will always do the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series that is made possibly with the physical media video library series, which will definitely take the cake, though. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have Twitter and Facebook account on all the social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. If you hit the if you hit the, if you press on the like button, if you like this video, feel free to watch this. That's all I got to say because to. Well, that didn't take very long because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos.